Hello, welcome to this quick video on addressing an issue with Windows 10, Windows Server 2012, 2016, where you're stuck in an automatic repair loop. Every time you try and start the machine, it just pretty much loads this window or something similar. You've tried startup repair, you've tried, uh, you don't want to use system restore, you don't want to restore from a backup, you want to restore to how your machine was before. So the first thing you do is we want to see what message we're getting. So let it boot into this autom automatic repair window. Hit troubleshoot, startup settings, and hit restart. This is going to let you see your usual options. Of course, try safe mode with networking. Try the last no good configuration if you can. And most importantly here, we want to see the error. So we want to disable automatic restart on system failure. We do that. In my case, I'm running Hyper-V with server 2012. R2 and here we can see bad system config info. Alright, so in my case I've loaded an ISO of server 2012 so I can use that to repair the machine. So I'm just going to restart it now we know what the error is. That may help you find the solution. But in this case it was caused by corrupt Windows updates which attempted to install caused errors on the machine which corrupted the registry and it no longer boots. Alright, so what we want to do is, if you haven't run startup repair, run that first of course. Run the last known good configuration as I mentioned. So the next one would be to restore your registry back to a time when it was working. So luckily Windows keeps a copy of an old copy of your registry under C, Windows, System32, Config slash back uh, reg back so I'll just show you where that is so we want to go to troubleshoot command prompt and C is my current Windows install drive so C browse there now C Windows system 32 config to show you what's in this directory you see there's a reg back folder which contains a backup of your registry from a time ago when it was working I assume sometimes it goes two back uh, two weeks back sometimes it's one week but it's always a good idea to copy the contents of the reg back into your current config folder which is what it loads to boot into Windows to see if that will fix the issue so simply copy the contents of the reg back folder so you want star dot star everything any extension into C Windows System32 config so we're overwriting the current registry files and we hit A to say yep we're happy to overwrite give that a little bit of time and there we go all files are copied so the regback contents has been copied into the config folder replacing the current possibly corrupt registry so now you'd exit and continue back into Windows, let it boot, see how you go. So I found, in my case, this didn't fix it. There was something still in the older registry that was corrupt. So in my case, it was old Windows updates that are attempting to install but failing and somehow stuck in pending packages. So I'll show you where this exists in registry. So we run regedit.exe, which opens the registry editor. We go into local machines, software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, open that out, component based servicing. So here you may see a folder called packages pending. For me, I found it easier just to back up this component based servicing folder. Just put it on your C drive, that's fine. We can always restore it later with reg add and specifying the reg key. That you want to re-add. Uh, so we, once we've exported that, which is saving it, creating a backup, I simply delete this one and again exit, restart, see how you go. All right, so you're still finding that it's still automatic uh, looping. That's okay. Next step we want to do is delete the pending.xml. So the pending.xml file contains a list of pending updates or pending tasks your OS is about to complete but there may be something in there that's possibly corrupt or possibly causing the issue. 
So the file is located in, we'll go there now, so it's located in C, Windows, Win SXX. I may have messed that up, so CDC, Windows, Win SXX. And here we are, so there's a file called pending. Hit, hit. I've already done this before, but it was called pending.xml. So I've simply just renamed pending.xml to pending.old. So I've already done that. You can hit enter on that to make that happen. And then if you look for the pending.old, hit tab to find that file, you'll see it's there. Again, exit, restart, see how you go. Normally it's not recommended to delete pending.xml because you may find it may corrupt your Windows Update software distribution folder. But then again, you can always delete that folder, restart the Windows Update service, let it do its thing and rebuild it. So that shouldn't be an issue. All right, so you've done all those steps, you're finding it's still not working, which was the case in my, um, my case was, I did those registry steps, it still didn't fix it. So this is where we move on to the deployment imaging servicing and management tool, which is dsim.exe. This is a tool to repair your image, revert pending updates, things like that. So we're working offline. Normally you could use the online option to repair directly to the Windows Update Service. So in this case, ensure you got your CD inserted or for Hyper-V, an ISO of your OS server version mounted. And we're gonna use this to mount an image onto the machine and use that uh, as a way to repair our machine and revert pending changes. So D drive for me is the setup.exe. You can see that's the ISO for my Windows Server 2012 image. All right, so first we want to make a directory where we want to uh, mount the image for DSIM. So I'm gonna make a directory on C called, let's just call it image. All right, so I've created that. Now I want to mount the image, so dsim.exe forward slash mount image, forward slash image file, colon d colon, and then we want, this is the source to the install.wim.file. Of course, the d may be a different letter for you if your drive is different. And now we want to do index one, specifying only one image, and we want to mount the directory into C, our previously created directory, which was called image, and we make that read only. So we let it do its thing. It's gonna take a little while just to load that image up, extract it from the ISO and mount it into that folder, which is in the C root directory and it's called image. So I'll give that a moment. All right, so that's all done. It's been mounted successfully. Now we can run the command to clean up the image and restore the health based on the source we've just created, which is under C image. So we do dsim.exe forward slash image, specify image, which is in the image folder. And we want to say to clean up the image of our current OS and we want to restore the health. Okay, so that should be fine. We want to specify a scratch directory, which is a location on your computer where you can extract logs, create sort of temporary files to work with. So I'm just going to give it the same location. I'm not really worried about that. And off we go. All right, it's going to take a little bit of time. It sometimes takes five to 10 minutes. Okay, so that's now complete. It's completed successfully. We can now exit and restart. But what I like to do in my case was revert the pending actions. So once again, dsm.exe forward slash image. And uh, where we mounted an image earlier, which was in a folder called image on the C drive. We want to clean up the image and we want to revert pending actions. Hit on on that. You may want to specify a scratch directory, but that completes fairly quickly. You can now exit, restart, see how you go. 
Uh, for me, in my case, after I did all these steps, I had to exit once again, troubleshoot. I went into startup settings and I restarted here. I chose last no good configuration. It took a good half an hour and then it finally booted. So that's pretty much it. You run through those steps. Hopefully one of those was the solution for your issue. And yeah, please hit like or subscribe if you feel like it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.